Well, we're progressing quite nicely. And so far we've got our tree split off. So I right click into the first color thumb and I say hide all colors. Hide all colors. And as you can see, we now have my two frames plus my bird, the clouds, this lonely little, I don't know if that's an eagle or a gull. <laughs> um, and I want to hide these frames. I tell that hide, I tell that hide. And then I want my little blue frame, show color. And I've placed my little blue frame over the tree stump and the legs and feet of my bird. Now, as I've previously said, there are lots and lots of ways that you can do this, but this is one of the easiest ways. Now, I'm going to have to magnify my screen here. I'll try and keep it in the video frame. I think that should just about do it because I'm not just going to take a square. Right now I drop off my magnifying glass and I go and pick up my lasso tool. And I want the leggings, but I don't want all of them. That's better. The best way if you can is to try and get just the underneath threads so you'd miss all that black thread. And the easiest way to do that is actually hide a few colors. But it's finding the right colors to hide. Hide color. Right, there's all the white gone. Apart from that teeny bit down there. Hide color. No, that one doesn't affect it. So let's show all colors again. Okay. I know I'm going to need some of that white there. So I'm going to do the brutal thing. And it is brutal. I'm just going to go. Well, I want you. I need you. I want you. I want you. I want you want you, don't really want your tail feathers. Now, if I was doing this off video for myself, I would have blown it up a lot higher, hidden the colors, just taken what I wanted from the colors that were left. Come on, in you go. Thank you. But it's given me a nice zigzag edge anyway, which is absolutely wonderful. So I tell that split. Okay. And it's put it down at the bottom. And I don't want it down at the bottom. So I left click on it. I lift it up. I hover over my second lot of trees and I say insert after object and there it is after my trees and there's my space there for my alignment line so I just want to hide all these there we go See, it's given me a nice jaggedy edge, which will help disguise when I realign my design. And now I need a hoop for my bird. Let's just diminish the screen. Wrong way, Maggie. That's not a very good color, you can't see it. So I'm going to change that color. 
change color. What color can we use? Can I see orange? Yes, that's much better. Now, it's this one flipped onto its side. So when it actually gets stitched, it will be stitching sideways. Don't let that throw you. The bird is too big to fit into the vertical hoop. But I want to move that. I'll click off my magnifying glass. Click onto my hoop. And just very gently jiggle that up a bit. I want to know I've got headroom above his head. Now I want to place an alignment mark here. But I want it to go in this hoop with these colours. So I'm going to hide these. Hide all colours. Now I know it seems a little bit involved and have I really got to do all that? But believe me, it goes a lot faster when you don't have to try and explain something. So I'm lifting that up to there and I'm telling it insert before object. Show all colours. Okay. There are my trouser legs. There is the bottom of the orange hoop and the trouser legs and all this is very squarely set in the center of this hoop. Now I need an alignment mark which I just happen to have ready. <clears throat> and there it is sitting on the sidelines waiting for me. I want to move that, and I'm trying to get hold, of, there it is, down onto there. Right. And I want that to come at the end of my tree stump. Insert before object. There it is. So it stitches after all these have stitched. Now, show colour. Show all colours. That's good. Show colour. Show all colours and there is my previous alignment line. See it there? So I need that one. Show colour. Right. That one. Copy and paste. Copy. Paste. There it is, and it's down here. And I need that one. Set before object. So that that stitches, I use that to align this hoop onto my trees. 
because if we miss that step out, we'll get all this wrong and the rest of the design will go wrong. So let's just hide all colours. Hide colour. Hide colour. Hide colour. Hide colour. Thank you. Hide colour. Right. Something is still showing up, which shouldn't be showing up. And if I've hidden the colour, oh, let me just click off. Yeah, now it's hidden it. Wake up, Dozy Dora. Show colour. There it is. Now, I have to make certain that these two, that one, and that one, and the only way I can do that now is to separate before colour, which is a bit of a pain. Okay, that one, hold down my control key, that one, and align them. Left sides. Okay. Now they're both together. And now I need to make certain this one Aha, see, it's not lined. One Hold down my control, two, three, align, left sides, okay. Now they're all aligned in exactly the same spot. So I can click off there, right click on that one, hold down shift, Tell those join. Hide all those. I know it seems a fiddle, but it's a fiddle worth doing if you want your design to work. Hide all colors. Thank you. And now we can hide him. I want that one, so I'll leave him where he is, and I want this one, because this one's going to be the first alignment line for our bird in a minute when we split our bird off. So I'm going to tell that, show all colours. Okay. And what happened to my... There he is. Show colour. Let's click on here. Now, why are you still showing up? Because I've hidden you, haven't I? No, there he is. Don't want him interfering. Okay. There's our alignment line. And I've got to copy and paste that to be the first one to go with our bird. But first of all, we're going to crop out our bird. So we go and pick up our lasso tool. 
and the bird is really difficult. <coughs> That's just my attempt at humour. You have to forgive me. And say, split. And there he is, down there. But I want him above him. Insert before. Right. He's got a little blue alignment line in there, which is perfect. Now we've got to split this one off. But I think we'll do that in the next video. And let's bring back all our colours so as we can see what we've got so far. Show all colours. Right click into the first thumb. Show all colours. Show all colours. Let's hide that colour. Pick off the bird and there's our design. Hoop one, hoop two, hoop three, hoop four. Now unfortunately we can't do the whole design in five hoopings. But we can come pretty close. So I'll see you in the next video.